Hello and welcome to DBS English News with me, Mitha Farzana. You are watching Marketile Bank Headlines. Now, details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has expressed optimism that model mosques and Islamic cultural centers will play a role in checking militancy and terrorism in the name of Islam. It is aimed at spreading the philosophy of Islam all over Bangladesh. PM Sheikh Hasina made the remarks while addressing the inaugural of 50 model mosques held at Kono Bhavan Monday morning. He also called upon the guardians to safeguard their words from militancy and terrorism. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has extending facilities for saying prayers, religious teaching and its dissemination and training. Moreover, it will play role of mass awareness in different matters, particularly in checking terrorism, militancy and repression on women. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has paid homage to father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, by placing a wreath at his portrait at Dhan Mundi 32 here, marking the historic Mujib Nagar Day. She placed the wreath at the portrait of the father of the nation in front of the Bangabandhu Memorial Museum this morning. After laying the wreath at Prime Minister stood in Solomon silence for some time as a mark of profound respect to the memory of Bangabandhu, the architect of independence. Later flanked by senior leaders of her party, Sheikh Hasina also, the president of Awami League, placed another red at the portrait of Bangabandhu as the party chief. The historic Mujibnogo Day is being observed today to mark the formation of Bangladesh's first government to lead the War of Liberation in 1971. The Mujib Nagar Day is being observed marking the oath-taking ceremony of Bangladesh's first government on April 17, 1971, following the Pakistan Army's genocide on unarmed Bang Bangladesh on the Black Night of March 25, in 1971. Senior leaders of Army League assembled at Boitunatala in Meherpur on April 17 to form provisional government on independent Bangladesh. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman was declared the first president of the People's Republic of of Bangladesh, while Soyud Nazrul Islam was appointed as the acting president in the absence of Bangabandhu. Taijuddin Ahmed was appointed as the first prime minister, while Khandukar Mustaq Ahmed, Captain A. Mansur Ali and A. H. M. Kamruzaman were named as cabinet members. The provisional government gave successful leadership to the war of liberation for achieving victory on December 16. Traders on the third floor of the new market have been the worst affected by the fire. The work of removing debris or burned new supermarket has started for the second day. About 250 laborers are walking. Shoppers are scheduled to be open from today after removing the debris of the market. The affected shopkeepers are doing this with their own funds. According to the businessman, they will try to finish all the work by today and start the business on the third floor. However, some, sh some shops of the second and first floor have opened. The goods of the old shops on the third floor were burned to ashes. However, the traders managed to remove some of the goods from the second floor. A fire broke out at the BGB market in Uttara house building area of Dhaka and was brought under control about an hour later. The fire broke out around 10.25 a.m. on Monday, according to the fire service. After getting information about the incident, five units from Uttara and Tongi fire stations went to the location and brought the fire under control around 11.10 a.m. No casualties were reported so far. In the last few weeks, fire has devastated prominent markets in the capital with Dhaka New Market catching fire on Saturday and Bongo Bazar Market on April 4. Each train journey has begun from today. As a result, homegoers feel happy as almost all trains left Dhaka without hassle. Ratshahi bound Dhumketu Express left from Kamalapur Rail Station at 6.20 am. This year, railway authorities have sold 100% tickets online for the each journey. As a result, all passengers did not have to face usual suffering at station. But those who could not buy tickets online, they are going to the counter to get standing tickets before the start of the journey. Komlapu station was very crowded since dawn. Railway authorities said that 30,000 people will leave the capital every day on intercity trains during 8th. 
The rescue operation of Shonar Bangla Express at Hassanpur railway station of Kumilas Nangal Court is continuing. Early around 6.15 PM Sunday, the Dhaka bound Shonar Bangla Express train hit the freight train standing on loop number 4 of Hasnapur railway station at speed of 77 km. At least 22 people have been injured in the incident. Seven compartments of the train were derailed, six of which were badly damaged. The accident halted Chittagong's rail communications with Silat. Chakpur and Maiman Singh. In this situation, Bangladesh Railway has cancelled today's Dhaka Chotogram trip of Shonar Bangla Express. People who had bought advance tickets for this trip on April 17 will travel on the special train that will leave Komlapur Railway Station at 8 a.m. on April 19. The intense heat affecting train travel, intercity and local trains are running at a speed of 32 km per hour less than normal due to the threat of train derailment. Due to severe drought, trains are running at a speed of 40 km per hour on all the railway tracks in the country, including Dhaka Churgong, Dhaka Silet, Dhaka Rangpur. The freight, the freight train are running at a speed of 30 km. The rail authority are taking necessary steps to reduce the passenger sufferings on upcoming aid. The government wants to give the message of fair and acceptable elections to everyone nationally and internationally through the five city corporation elections. Aumi League will nominate the candidate after analyzing the five years' efforts and success. The Aumi League nominated five city candidates in a local government nomination board meeting on Saturday at Konobhavon. The current mayor of Ratchai City Corporation, who has a clean image and no major competitors, went ahead with the nomination race. Also, new candidates have come in Borisha. Gajipur and Silet City Corporation, while other candidates were unsure about their domination and popularity. The leaders hope that the party will be united and work for the candidate of the both symbol. President-elect MD Shahabuddin has vowed to do whatever would be necessary to hold a fair, participatory and acceptable Jatiyo Shangshud election. MD Shahabuddin said as the president, he will do whatever it needs to ensure a free, neutral, participatory and acceptable parliamentary election. In line with the constitution of the country, the Independent Election Commission would be able to conduct a neutral, participatory and acceptable national election by exercising the optimism independence. He hoped. The newly elected president, Kateri Gokali, said as the supreme commander, he will do whatever necessary to do maintain this neutrality and keep all the laws and order normal. The intensity of heat that has been increasing for two consecutive weeks has spread across the country. The life of hardworking people has become miserable in the burning sun of Ramadan. Desperate people hoping for relief rain, rainless sky even at the beginning of the Boishak. The temperature is rising all over the country. Dhaka, Faridpur, Gopal Ganj, Manik Ganj, Naren Ganj, Ratshahi, Pabna are experiencing severe heat wave. Severe heat wave is sweeping in all districts of Kuna Division. Hardworking people have no chance to stay at home even in hot sun. Chuadanga recorded the highest temperature in the country for two weeks. Such a situation will continue for a few more days. The situation is in dire other districts of Dhaka division including Gajipur, which is inhabited by garment factories. People do not go out without need. The meteorological office has said there may be rain in some parts of the country after April 19th. Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momen has said Bangladesh has sought cooperation of the United States to ensure the participation of all parties in the upcoming national elections. The minister told this to the newsman at his office after returning home from the United States. According to the meeting between the foreign minister of the two countries, Momen also raised the issues of U.S. actions on Bangladesh elections and misuse and amendment of digital security law. Bangladesh and the U.S. Secretary of State had a meeting at the U.S. State Department on Monday local time, where the economic development of Bangladesh, the transparency of the upcoming parliamentary elections, the Rohingya crisis and digital security are of the utmost importance. The Dhaka Stock Exchange DAC and the Chirung Stock Exchange CAC saw upward turn today. DSEX, the prime index of the DSC, went up by 0.09% to reach at 6,000. 
222 points. The DSEX index went up by 0.08% to reach at 1,348 points and the DS30 index went down by 0.10% to reach at 2,202 points. The Port City Boards, the Chitong Stock Exchange CSC50 went up by 0.02% to reach at 1,313 points. Currency rates. According to Shunali Bank Limited, US dollar is being bought at Taka 108 and sold at Taka 109. The buying price of Great Britain pound is Taka 127 and selling price is Taka 134. While Euro is being bought at Taka 117 and sold at Taka 122. Saudi real is being bought at Taka 29.10 and sold at Taka 31. And the Kuwaiti dinner is being bought at Taka 345 and sold at Taka 365.